Fish on, guys. Fish on. Oh, it's a good one. Y'all feel that? Oh, it's taking the drag. Good morning, folks. This is the fishing addict. I thought I'd bring a video back on. These are uh, Bobby Garland crappy baits. I bought all the colors. I've used various ones. I'm going to show you all the colors, and then I'm going to show you the five colors that work for me. They work on crappy, bluegill, brim, uh, red-eye bass, a bass will bite them. Almost any fish will bite them. So I just want to go over the colors and uh, give you my top five colors that I've used this year that's really worked well. That way, maybe it'll help y'all out when y'all go to buy them. You can get them at Walmart. You can order them. I think Walmart's $3.49 a pack, something like that. All right, guys, let's start with these right here. We're going to do the Moglos. The Moglos are glow in the dark. This is the pink phantom. Take a look at that. That's a great color. Have not used these Moglos yet, but we're going to. This is the green lantern. The green lantern. Sunrise. I would think that would get some attention. Like I said, this is good for crappy bluegill. Outlaw special. This is still the glow in the dark. This is the screamer. Electric chicken. Now the electric chicken is one of my favorite in regulars. And these are the glows. That's the glows. There were six different ones. And then we go over to these are the regular. Uh, they don't glow in the dark. This is the Mayfly. It's a good looking color. Hoping the colors show up the way I want. Then pearl white. I mean, you really can't go wrong with white. There are the stickers on that one. And then you've got chartreuse red glitter haven't used that one but I'm wanting to lights out that's a really good color this is Vegas you know pink normally works pretty good in all colors here you go Hot lips, the hot lips color. Blood minnow. The blood minnow looks very interesting. I have not used that one. Well, quite a few of these right here I haven't used. Once you find one that works, you normally don't really change. Blue thunder. Hologram Ghost. Semi-clear, light blue inside. Blue grass. The blue grass colors work really well. Baby Shad. That's thread fin Shad. This is the Patriot. Red, white, and blue inside of that. Those are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 18 colors. 19 colors. Now, this is the ones that I've been using on some of the videos. Y'all can see the fish I catch. I use this and another brand that I won't mention while I'm doing the Bobby Garland. I'm not sponsored by these guys. I'm just doing this to help you guys out. Uh, this is Baby Shad Monkey Milk. You will catch fish on this color. I catch fish. Uh, 
Since we're doing the ones that I've used, I guess we can. Let's see. Licorice Chartreuse Pearl. It's another good color. You know, green, white, purples, pinks, all seem to work real well. Cajun Cricket does real well. Now, I'm not targeted crappy. I, I target brim and stuff and get large brims. Slab Bluegill. Sunfish. Blue Eyes. Cannot go wrong with Blue Eyes. They're saying it's one of the number one colors for uh, crappy or crappie, depending on where you're from. The Electric Chicken is another one. Top five colors, guys. Electric Chicken. Blue Eyes. Electric Chicken, again. Cajun Cricket. Licorice Chartreuse Pearl. And Monkey Milk. Those are the five top colors. So if you're gonna get some, those colors right there will catch fish. You can go back in my videos and you can see where we catch them. All right, guys, I just wanted to bring that. Uh, hang on just for a second. All right, guys, I'll show y'all how I rig these. This is how I do it. Here's the Bobby Garden lure. Look at that tail, flaps. This is the belly, that's the top. You can do a 1 32nd ounce, 1 24th of an ounce. I'm gonna use a 1 64th of an ounce. We're gonna take and go through like this. I wanna go back far enough. When you slide this up, it's right there, that the hook sticks out just like this. And to tell, see how that's straight? You want it to be straight. I hold it this way. You want it straight. Right through the, almost through the middle. And curve up right past this hump with the 164th of an ounce. And it'll look just like this. All the way to the head. Now you can glue these on if you want. If you do, I'd run a little bit of line or something around it. There's a couple ways. I'll make a video on that. It'll last longer. But these last a pretty good time. But that's how you rig it. Same thing with the 24th of an ounce, a 30 seconds of an ounce or whatever. That's how I rig the, that's the monkey milk baby shad. And that's how we rig it. All right, guys, hopefully this video will help some of you guys out, show you how to hook it. You can put this on. You can fish this with a cork bobber or without. You get that straight. You throw it in the water. It'll go down. You work it just like so. And that tail action to do that in the water and it attract those fish to bite. Next time we're on the water, I'll show a little uh, rigging again on the water. That way y'all know. But anyway, guys, if y'all like the video, give me a thumbs up. It's fast, free, and easy. Helps the channel out. Subscribe. Watch the video all the way through. This is the Fishing Attic. We'll see y'all on the next one, guys. Y'all keep the lines tight. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Oh, it's a good one. Y'all feel that? Oh, it's taking the drag. Oh, yeah. Had to turn it around out of that brush. Oh, it feels like a good one.